partner disease. This week I decided I would focus more on what do you do if or when your dog actually comes in with heartworm disease or is diagnosed with heartworm disease. A couple of things I want to touch about. First off, always, always, always consult, consult your veterinarian with this kind of stuff, okay? I'm just scratching the surface. I'm giving you broad, generalized information. Always consult your veterinarian to develop a game plan as to how he or she would prefer to proceed. But in my practice, what we do, step one for me, is I get that animal on a heartworm preventative if they're not already. I know, some people say, wait, wait, how can you do that? I heard that you can't, that can cause problems with dogs. Um, long, long ago, there were certain medications that were very dangerous if you use them on a dog that has heartworms. Thankfully, most of the medications that we use nowadays as preventatives are safe to use for heartworm positive dogs. Depending on the stage, again, I'm gonna say this, talk to your veterinarian, okay? Um, but the preventative is important because we have to stop that dog from getting more and more heartworms trying to come on board. They're gonna keep getting bit by mosquitoes. We have to stop those mosquitoes from turning into adult heartworms. That's why it's important. Number two, there's, there are antibiotics that can help to start the process of treating and or killing heartworms. Let me be clear. Antibiotics do not kill heartworms. Underline that, they don't, okay? I'm talking about them because heartworms contain a bacterium called Wolbachia that we can kill. And if we can kill that bacteria, uh, it will make the heartworm weaker, it will make it easier to kill, and it will cause less infl uh, inflammation after that worm is killed off, okay? We normally would use either doxycycline or minocycline, and it's a 30-day regimen. I know that's a long time, but it's a drop in the bucket in the big picture. But those antibiotics for 30 days. That's usually step two of the treatment. And in those cases where we have an appropriate patient and an owner who's willing and able to go ahead and do the full treatment, then we use a drug called melarsamine. That is the actual adulticide treatment for heartworm disease. That is the one that a lot of people are familiar with where you have to keep your dog still and you have to keep him quiet, you have to cage rest him, and that is an absolute must. If you can't keep your dog quiet for a period of about 10 weeks, you might not want to go through with that part of the treatment because what happens is when it works, it kills all those heartworms that live on the right side of the heart. If you know anything about heart anatomy, it goes from the right side to the lungs. Well, guess what? Dead worms do the same exact pathway. So if they are allowed to be too active and those dead worms are dislodged, they will make their way to the lungs and get stuck. They're too big. So it's just like a large blood clot or an embolus uh, and it's just less than ideal. So that's where the cage rest comes in. It's imperative. Um, if for some reason you feel you cannot do that part of the treatment, again, I'm gonna say this, talk to your veterinarian, do not make these decisions on your own. But there are some dogs, cage rest is just not an option, it can't happen. Those first two steps, the antibiotics and the preventative, can work. A lot of people like to call it slow kill method. Yeah, okay, I'm okay with the phrase, I guess. Um, but it's certainly better than doing nothing because again, the goal of treatment is to stop any more worms from coming on board and eventually start to kill off some of those adult worms. And some of the slow kill methods can achieve that. It just takes a long time, usually between one and two years, if not longer. Um, that is it in a nutshell. I think that covers most everything. Guys, I'm gonna say it a third time. Talk to your veterinarian, it's very important. These videos are not intended for me to take over from your veterinarian or give you advice, medical advice. If you're a client of mine, great, come talk to me. But if I'm not your veterinarian, please seek the advice of your veterinarian so you guys can get on the same page. Lastly, I want to thank you for the comments from last week's video. Keep them coming. Uh, we will likely be deciding on a name very shortly. I just want to get a few more uh, ideas thrown around. And topics. Keep sending in topics because I will more than happily cover anything I can. Uh, and I look forward to seeing what you guys throw at me in the next couple of weeks. Take care and have a great day, okay?